What's up, my name's Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. So recently Star Wars Battlefront 2 is free to play on the Epic Games Store. And of course, this video title isn't specific to only this game. If you're experiencing this error, then this video is going to show you how to fix it. What error is it? Well, if I open up the Epic Games Launcher and locate a game that I'd like to install, in my case, Star Wars Battlefront 2, I'll simply click on it and you'll see a pop up in the bottom right. Please wait while we install Origin. What exactly is happening here? Well, absolutely nothing. And that's exactly what this video is going to show you exactly how to fix. So before we even get into possible fixes, you may just have not noticed something. Check your start bar at the very bottom and make sure that the origin logo isn't here. If you see it, click on it and you'll be prompted to sign in with your EA account to link it to your Epic Games Store account. However, let's of course assume that you didn't miss something as simple as this and there's actually an issue. Well, what can we do? This pop-up over here shows up only if you have Origin installed on your computer. If you don't have Origin installed, then it'll have to install it first and then launch it up. However, if it's deciding not to install it, you can try it manually downloading Origin from the EA website. Simply head across to the link in the description down below or origin.com slash store slash download. That should take you to this page over here where you can simply click download for Windows or Mac. After doing this, a 60 meg file also will download, click on it to open it up, and then Origin should start installing. I already have it installed, so it shouldn't really do anything other than launch Origin itself. Once Origin is installed and signed in, you'll see this window over here. If we head back to Epic Games, click the game once again, you should be prompted again by Origin this time to sign in, even if you already have the window open. There we go, a second window pops up. However, if you're still having issues, there's a couple of things that we can try. First of all, hit start and then click on the settings icon down here. In this new window, open up system and then make sure you're on the display tab. Inside of here, simply select the display that you're currently using, scroll down and then choose a different display resolution. If the window for some reason was pushed off of your display, simply changing your resolution should get it back to the center or at least somewhere where you can grab it. If you're running anything other than 4K, 2K, 1080p, 720p, or another common value like that, try changing it across to say 1920 by 1080 and then launching up the Epic Game Store again, trying to install the game. Another thing we can try and change is the scale and layout. Of course, if you have a 4K display or something like that, you usually have this option pushed up. However, for this little tutorial, try setting this back to 100%, closing out of it, and launching up the game once again to the Epic Game Store. This time, hopefully, you can see the sign-in page for linking Origin and Epic Games. Once again, you may have to check your start bar, as there may be one or two open here. However, if for some reason you're still having issues, you can try uninstalling Origin if you already have it installed or you installed it earlier in this video. Hit start, open up settings, head across to the apps section over here, and then in this list here, simply type in Origin. Click on Origin and then click Uninstall. Note that if you have any games installed, I don't think that they'll be uninstalled, but they will have to be linked again when you open up Origin. How exactly do you link it? Well, in the description down below is a video showing you how to move Origin games from one drive to another. If for some reason you had a game installed and after reinstalling Origin, it's not appearing, then following through with that video, instead of actually moving it, you're just gonna go ahead and re-add it to your Origin launcher. After it's uninstalled, you can simply head back to the Epic Game Store, click on the game once again, and eventually the sign-in window should pop up. After signing in, it should simply link your accounts together, otherwise you'll have to enter a two-factor code. And there we go, our accounts are now linked. If we head across to the My Game Library inside of Origin, you should see Star Wars Battlefront 2 or whatever EA game you added through the Epic Games launcher. Here we go. I have Star Wars Battlefront 2 bought and owned on Origin, and I have the second one. This time it looks slightly different. It's got the Epic Games Store logo in the top right. Now we're prompted to select an install location. I'll go ahead and choose one. After hitting next, agreeing to any terms, you'll be able to download and install any game that you want to. The download will be managed and completed completely inside the Origin Launcher. If you head back to the Epic Games Store and click the game itself, it'll simply try and open up Origin again, but because it's open already, nothing is going to happen. In other words, simply just wait for this to finish, that's about it. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found something useful learner. My name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!